All right, guys, so I'm Dustin from Hard Cruise Racing, and I want to tell you how I just removed a broken dipstick from uh, my, my dirt track truck over here. So coming over to the dirt track truck, you can see I'm getting the new engine tucked down in here. I'm about to release a video on this engine, or, or you know, a very brief video on this engine. Um, but the dipstick tube, which is right here now, you can see it's a new one. It's well different. It's different. It's not new. It's different. Here, here's the one that was originally on that engine block, and as you can see, it 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 it, it broke. Okay, it broke deep down inside the block, and it broke after I had already put the engine in, which is frustrating, okay? I didn't think to change it over earlier. I was like, it's fine. I'm going to get this engine in here. I'm going to fill it with fluids. So I came out here to fill it with fluids. I jacked the truck up. I went to adjust the dipstick tube because the original position was like way over here, and I didn't want that. I needed it back against this, uh, this bar right here, which you can see where it's screwed in. So I tried to move it back. I tried to at least bend it, get it to move. You know, the whole game that we have to play with some of this stuff. And it snapped off. So, I tried to look up ways to get it out. And it said things like, you can run a tap down it. You can grab it with pliers. All sorts of things were all over the internet. And none of those ideas worked, okay? Um, I, it was crushed. It was bent over. I tried to grab the top of it with pliers or anything that I could get onto it. And, you know, be able to pry it out and nothing simply worked. I also went over and grabbed my torch and some WD-40. I soaked it. I tried to torch it a little bit, thinking if there was, you know, a rubber O-ring or something like that down in there, I could start to melt it and get it to break free. And nothing worked. So what do you do? So first thing first, I went over and kicked on my air compressor and I grabbed one of these, um, these air pens. Okay, it's something that you can just open up and leave running. Okay, you're not, you don't have to hold the button. You don't have to do anything. I put it down inside of this tube here and uh, I taped everything off. Actually, I threw a rubber glove in the tube with that, and then I taped that off, and I taped the, the hole back here off, and uh, I made sure that my oil pan bolt was back down in the oil pan, and I kicked that air pressure up. And what happened is it started blowing air pressure out where my tube was broken. Awesome, okay? Let's just think about this for a minute. We now have air pressure blowing out. The next thing I did is I ran into my, my race trailer where I remembered I bought a pack of like a hundred of these little magnets off Amazon. Now I originally bought them to use against my race door to put up bug netting. That's the plan. I have a big roll of bug netting and I want to be able to stop things like all these pesky mosquitoes from coming in here. So I bought a bunch of these. I took four or five of these and I went and I placed them on the block around the hole. Okay, I originally tried to, you know, place one on the drill bit itself, but I put it on the block around the hole. And what this did is as the the chips were being blown out from the air pressure, um, it, they would stick straight to this. And it worked extremely well, guys. And also, when you add magnets to a block, to a cast iron block, it causes the, the block itself to become magnetized. Okay, that means not only are the shavings going to be drawn towards this, the shavings are going to be drawn towards the block itself. And last but not least, I went and grabbed a drill bit that was the exact same size as the uh, the tube itself. Correction, I grabbed a drill bit that was like two sizes smaller initially to start the hole so that I knew everything was centered. And then I went back up with the bigger drill size. So as I was going down through here, and I can remove, let's get all this stuff up out of the way. And I can remove this one now because this one will pull right out. But as I was drilling through here with magnets all around that hole and air pressure just blasting out, all of the chips were flying out and instantly being sucked to the magnet. Now, I was very slow and very careful about this. I don't want big chips. I want the air pressure to be able to blow those chips out, okay? And I want them to ultimately, you know, get out of the way but stick to the magnets. And it was working incredible, okay? At one point in time, I wiped the magnets off just so that way, you know, I could have a cleaner surface and I kept going very slowly very easily and the next thing I know the bottom of the cap blew out of the hole as well now unfortunately I already threw those pieces away I say that because I would like to show you how much of the cap actually came out at the end um, but as you've seen when I just pulled that that tube out uh, it's very tight fit which kind of tells me that I wasn't digging into the block itself so much okay so this one now sits down in there nice and snug um, and I don't think I did any damage what I am going to do and this is just to ease my little worries okay is the first thing I did is, is I, uh, I dumped some oil down the tube uh, up in the head now this is for two reasons first off I live in Ohio it's very humid and when you run an air compressor in the humidity sometimes you get water and I might get some moisture down the engine 
this is worrisome like two percent okay i'm not gonna have a ton of water down in the engine um it's just it could have moisture from the humidity itself being compressed and then uh because i am using just a small um roofing compressor my big compressor with my dryer and everything like that it got a leak inside the, the adjustment valve so i need to fix that so just using a small roofing compressor which is good because everyone should own a roofing compressor and if you don't have one get one they're very very helpful in all situations and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put that tube back on there and i'm going to send some oil down that way now the idea here is that as the oil travels through it's going to collect some of that moisture it's going to collect any uh, metal shavings that didn't come out this end which I think they all did but I just want to be safe I'm just going to pull it down to the bottom down to the uh, drain plug where I can pop that back off drain plugs magnetized and uh, then I can double check that you know the shavings actually fall down into my my drain pan I say double check but I'm not really going to check it's just kind of one of those things like just do it so that way you don't have to worry about did you get the shavings you know so that's the plan throw some more oil in there let it drain out let it fall down through so again this isn't a theory of how to remove the plug because when i was searching for answers i'm like what do i do looking at youtube reading forums and everyone's like this should work i tried this this might work uh this isn't a theory guys i i just did it Okay, I physically had to get that plug out of there, and I drilled it out, and everything seemed to go as planned. Now, I am concerned about metal shavings in the oil pan. I'm not going to drop the oil pan, but here's the thing. The system is designed to collect things like metal shavings over time. Okay, I know they're not ideal, but it is designed to protect itself, okay, with new filters, things like that. This is a race engine. It's going to get started up and driven hard and shut off and started up and driven hard and probably not that many times until we go through and change all the fluids and check everything again um we're about halfway through the season now the truck blew up and i just got that engine put in so it's probably only going to get a couple more races max and then i'm going to swap the fluids out anyway so that's kind of the idea here guys i'm getting eaten up by bugs i'm going to go wrap that up dump some fluid down that tube and uh you know, ultimately just make sure we don't have metal shavings in there. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. Obviously, I'm going to start this up and I'm going to go race it. I want to have it running by tomorrow or the day after. So if you have questions about if I had issues or anything about the truck, ask me, guys. I'm very active on YouTube. I'm very active on Facebook. So as much as I want you to watch my content, get off YouTube. Put your phone away. Your phone's the devil. Um, sit around looking at your phone. Is not going to get you out there enjoying nature? Is it going to get you out there working on projects? Is it going to get you out there racing? So get off your phone, and most importantly, have a good day.